everybody, Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and welcome to the Thomas and Mack Center, just off the Vegas Strip for tonight's main event. 12 rounds in the lightweight division. Boy, and we expect this to be a big night of action. We spoke with both fighters yesterday. Fireworks anticipated here tonight. Let's see. Davis's poise is something that cannot be denied. This is a fighter that knows he's ready to do what is in front of him, and he has what it takes to accomplish the goal. These ring walks have been known as circus spectaculars, but yet, with all that, to him, it's a moment of extreme attention. All right, gentlemen, protect yourselves at all times. Let's touch them up. All right. Just the opening round of 12 scheduled for tonight's bout. I think most people would probably figure if we were to make a checklist of the advantages and disadvantages you want in a fighter, superior hand speed would definitely be a big advantage. But you've trained many a guy who's been up against the guy with better hand speed. What have you told them? Well, I've told them that that's only one dimension. That's only one thing. Turn that against them. Make it a kind of place where they can't use it. Parries that punch intended for the head. Gages in the clinch. Hey, you got some of that too. Let's go. Oh. Right. Davis is doing exactly what you Double should it. to be a strong nice. defensive fighter. You got to block those punches away. That's okay. <laughs> Bam. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Gets rid of that body shot. The last thing either guy wants to be here, Teddy, is one-dimensional. The last thing you want to be in anything to be successful is one-dimensional. I mean, if you're a comedian, you don't want to be saying the same jokes all the time. Your crowd's not going to be there. Well, your opponent is going to be there all night long if you do the same thing. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. Stay away from the... Come on! Last 10 seconds. Fight. I need you to take some chances now. You have to take a chance with this guy, all right?
key box just like that. You're gonna take this one. We got it. Alright. All we need is water up there, and that's it. You don't need that, no. Throw that away. Here we go. Round two is underway. Committing to the work downstairs with the left. Thunder's knowledge of the game is showing through. Three ways to defend. One of them is the block. He did it there well. See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. Misses his opponent's headshot. He is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. Big shot. He goes down in the later stages of this round. He's going to try to survive it. sense of a flash knockdown there. You can see he's not too damaged. His opponent better be careful. He's still got a live guy opposite him. Oh, yeah, he definitely does. And believe me, the Bez indicated that he didn't really hurt him. His opponent's not coming after him. He knows that he's okay. He knows that that wasn't one of those big shots that really debilitates a guy. It's all yours, baby, but you gotta keep working. Keep working, and this is your fight. Don't get lazy out, okay? He seems fully recovered to me. Here we are, the start of a new round, and a fighter that got tagged hard in the last round seems as fresh as could be. Well, when you push a fighter, when you push a human being to a dark place, that's when you're going to find out what's bright inside of them, what's great inside of them. And he's responding just that way. shape he could be on the deck in moments he goes from damaged goods 
to defensive goods. Yeah, because right now he's fighting on instinct. He's doing things without even thinking. Just automatic things. Things that he was taught five years ago, three years ago, that maybe he thought about, but he didn't do. Now they're just coming out. He's just naturally surviving. A good block by Davis. Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. Hold on to his him. opponent has to be getting frustrated here. He had his man down, but now he keeps getting tied up. Look, I'm frustrated watching it. I don't care about his opponent. I don't have any pity for him right now because he's allowed himself to get frustrated and allow himself to get tired. All he has to do is rotate those shoulders back a little bit, push off a little bit, create room. He's tired. He's tired. And just grabbing on to his opponent. How about that left hand? Get after him! Good flush shot upstairs. Nice strike after catching one by Thunder. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. What impact from that uppercut by Thunder. And now he scores with that left to the body. Last 10 seconds of round number three. Davis's defense, is it ever good? Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. And we come to the end of the round. Escuches, this is your fight. Keep it up. Keep scoring points, keep throwing punches. Keep circling. Don't stand in front of you. Where's your body work? Hit the body! Listen to me. You get caught up. You get caught up and you're fighting his fight. Focus for me. Start of round number four as we look at Teddy's scorecard. I think this is pretty much what we expected. We thought it would be a good, fair, competitive, balanced fight, and it's even so far. No, not much to separate the two fighters. Right now, both of them working on the outside using the jab. I think it's going to come down to this one guy decide to have a more educated jab. Maybe hook off it, do something a little bit more with that jab. Southpaw pulling the trigger with the straight left. You got this one. He is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. Blocks the headshot. 
Able to block that away, it was targeted for his head. Seconds remaining in this round. And that's the end of round four. Davis has got to come up with something here because his eye just closed. Yeah, well, what he has to do is his opponent knows what he has to do. His opponent has to throw punches from that side. What he has to do is take that side away from him, position himself in a ring where those punches are not available to his opponent. Let's go. Let's go. This fight is too close. You hear me? It's too close. We don't want this. Teddy, I gotta be honest with you. Based on what we saw in that last round, I didn't think we'd be broadcasting this round. I thought the fight would be over. It may be soon if his opponent can jump on him. But this could be his only chance. I don't think he can last much longer. Maybe this is the moment where you expect your opponent to come after you fast. Maybe you grit yourself, you plant your feet, you draw a line in the sand, so to speak, and you nail him coming in. Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counterpunching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make him miss, make him pay. Keep working the body. And he ties up on the inside. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Dismiss his opponent. He is not in good shape. He oh, and there you go. Oh, and now the real test. Can he get up after going down a second time? in prime form. Power surge here. Knockout winner. No need to hear from the judges. Davis has put an end to this fight. No, he's not getting up, Joe. He never saw that punch. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great evening.